Well, it's the news any parent dreads getting. In 2009, the Parrish family were rocked when their two-year-old son, Elliot, was diagnosed with a brain tumour. Mum Emily and Dad Rick vowed to do anything possible to help their beautiful boy and other families who are in the same situation. Yeah, now the pair created Telethon Adventurers, raising funds by leading action-packed expeditions all over the world. Now, tragically, little Elliot lost his battle last year, but today, Elliot's army, as they're called, is stronger than ever, having raised, get this, $3.5 million in just two years to fight children's cancer. Uh, here with more, uh, Elliot's amazing mum and dad, Rick and Emily Parrish. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you. Well, what I find amazing about stories like this is that the strength that you as parents find that are going through something so horrible and yet something so positive comes out of it. Where did you find that strength to do that? Uh, well, I, I found the strength in Elliot. Um, from the day he was diagnosed, obviously our, our lives turned inside out. Um, and then when, when we were in the ward, um, it started out just wanting to do something for the ward um, mm -hmm. in terms of improving the furniture and so on. Um, but I asked one of the oncologists one day what could be done or what he needed to be done and they, he just said money. So I said, right, I'll be, I'll be back when I raise it. Money for research, money for equipment, uh, whatever it takes? Well, yeah, pretty much anything it takes. I mean, um, as one of our patrons, Fiona Stanley, described, uh, Perth in terms of brain tumour research was a bit of a backwater. Mm. Uh, and now, uh, thanks to the Telethon Adventurers, we're in the, we're in the top ten in the world. Yeah. So, well, and obviously, to go through anything like that, your family purse strings are obviously <coughs> strained. Now, not only that, you've given up your, um, your job, your, your business to um, just concentrate on the fundraising efforts, and all the money raised uh, goes directly to the charity. Nothing to you. That's like right. Nobody, nobody takes any money well, from the chat. We all, we don't have any money to spend. We approach businesses, we approach people, we approach families, and it's just extraordinary. Every day, our phones, our emails, anything, Twitter, Facebook, people are just so generous. It is phenomenal, so, and we yeah. us, we get days of deep grief, and then something will come through that will just uplift you and just keep, help you keep going. And it's. Mm through adventures. This is called Telethon Adventurers. So yes, tell, I mean, you guys have done some crazy, I think they're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I think they're a lot of fun. What are we looking at? Through, I think they're a lot of fun. I mean, my, I mean, my background is Special Forces years ago, so um, when I wanted to start a charity, I thought, well, it's got to be adventure-based, that's what we do. Um, we give people a chance to give back, to get involved, um, to see where the money goes. This was uh, Mont Blanc in her first year when we climbed it uh, at 4,800 metres. It's the highest mountain in, in Europe. Um, incredibly dangerous. We were there climbing uh, six weeks ago and nine climbers were killed uh, by an avalanche. Um, that's on the, the Murder Glacier, uh, Glacier this year with our group. Um, and so actually, people seek sponsorship. That's how you raise the money. Yeah, we say, look, you know, being an adventurer is not easy. Um, we, we task everybody with raising. They've got to pay their own way um, to whatever we do and also raise $20,000. Now, I mean, $20,000 for a lot of people, like, sounds a lot, but our, the people that get involved with us are incredible. Um, and, you know, we've raised... I mean, by the end of this year, we will have raised over four million in less than two and a half years. That's um, incredible. And it what is. happens is people... Initially, $20,000 sounds daunting, but once people start, it just snowballs, yeah. and you get the banter and the... I'll get texts saying, I'm up to $18,000, or... It's, and it's, that's extraordinary. Yeah, it is. It's extraordinary. Yeah. It's amazing. And, and we, we first met at Telethon, actually, all of us, uh, yes. at the lunch a couple of years ago. Um, that's obviously coming up again, and you're actively involved in Telethon, which has raised, what, $117 million in the last 43 yeah, yeah, years, yeah. Yeah. thanks to people like you. There's an exciting event which you're here to announce as well. Tell us about it. Well, um, in one of the conversations I had with Fiona Stanley, I asked her, I said, how often do all the world's leading experts get together to talk about brain tumours and formulate an action plan? And she sort of tapped me on the, on the arm, as she does, and said, come on, Rick, you know, it doesn't happen. Um, so we're very proud to announce that the Telethon Adventurers have organised, funded, and will host the world's first uh, childhood brain tumour symposium in Perth on the second anniversary of Elliot's death uh, next year in February. Wow. That's so absolutely It's very important. exciting. We, it is. And that's we all about information sharing, because you guys want answers. Everybody wants answers. That's right. So if you can get the surgeons together in one, under the one roof, yeah. that's yeah. the whole idea. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Wow. And Fiona Stanley, what an amazing lady she is. Yeah, I mean, I, whenever I was feeling down in the water, I used to wander over to the Institute and just try and find Fiona and spend oh. two minutes with her, and then you walk out of there going... Isn't yeah. she one of the most motivational oh. people you can ever meet? Yeah. Incredible. But also, with Kerry Stokes, who is that telephone patron, mm. 
and obviously the chairman of Seven West, he matches us dollar for dollar for the first half a million dollars that we raise. So that's such an incentive also. I mean, it's, it's incredible. So each year, the first half a million dollars we raise, we get another, another half to yeah. yeah. And that's to ching that's a million dollars oh, right there and then. Congratulations yeah. on all your hard work. Thank you. It comes yes, through such you. difficult it's circumstances. It's a big people. Absolutely, yeah. but um, well done. You're making something good come out of something horrible. So um, we take our hat off to you. And here's to continued amazing fundraising. Um, if you would like to get involved in Telethon Adventurers and join Elliot's Army fighting the war on childhood cancer, you go to the daily information uh, section on our website, the daily show info section, and you will find all the details there. Well, Thank you so much, Rick and Roy.